yeah hello all welcome back yeah. so in the previous session we have gone through how to create the condition types then yeah. access sequences as well as how can we create the pricing procedures and how to yeah. use the condition type in the pricing procedure that's what we have seen for the base price right so we have created yeah. the base price what is that yeah. mr00 and we have determined yeah. it into the sales document now what i do okay. is let me create a condition type for the discounts and i will show you how can we use the discount condition types in the pricing procedure and how can we determine them into the sales document now okay let me go through the conventional way what is that we have to create the condition tables first and we have to place them into the access sequence then we have to yeah. what is that actually there is a procedure right condition type there is yeah. a condition type yes first of all condition tables then mm. access sequence access sequence then we have to place condition it. type yes into the condition type mm. then the condition mm. type should be placed into the pricing procedure pricing and mm. the pricing procedure will be assigned to the condition condition record no actually we we what is this uh, we maintain the condition records also but here mm. the pricing procedure will be assigned to the ov ovkk yes in the transaction ovkk mm. what is the criteria to determine the pricing procedure first of all sales organization distribution channel and division the combination of mm. this one is called as sales area okay mm. then we assign the pricing procedure to the combination of sales area and document pricing procedure and customer pricing procedure mm. okay so we can okay do like this now i would like to do it for the discounts so let mm. me go through the transaction d slash 03 mm. here i will create a new condition table okay so mm. here before okay. that let me show you the standard condition types here let me mm. go through the k004 this is what is used for the material discount okay okay so now let mm. me go through b slash 03 mm. here i would like to create a new discount condition type which is only for mm. the materials so let me go through mm. the allowed fields here and let me take material mm. this one okay so now see okay. from this field catalog i have taken the selected field which is nothing but the material mm. so now let me mm. generate it so here you have to click on yes then when the system mm. ask you about the package here the standard one mm. is jsd0 right Yeah. and you can save here or else if you don't want to use the package you can save it in the local object i have already mm -hmm. yeah i have already told you what is the difference between local object and this one right yeah. okay see now the table a 518 which is created mm -hmm. so now let me go through the transaction v slash 07 mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me go through the new entries to mm. create the new access sequence. Nothing but the M double zero four. This is what mm. we would like to use for material discount. Mm. Okay. discount. So now mm. let me select this one and let me go through the accesses here. Mm. Here, let me go through the new click over this new entries and here. Mm. What is the table we have created? Now? Five one eight. Five one eight. Mm. See, here five one eight is for the material. Now let me select this one, and we have mm. we have to go through the fields here, mm. and we have to make ensure that the field status should be in green here. If it is in red, then there will be a problem with it. Already have told. Mm. Now let me save it. Mm. Now. the access sequence got saved 
okay so what i would like to do is i would like to use that access sequence okay so for which i would like to create a new condition so let me go through the transaction v slash 06 and here in the okay. new entries we can give our condition type and we can assign the access sequence here and mm. these are all the controls you have to maintain so actually at this moment i cannot able to maintain them as i will mm. let you know when i am going to deal with the condition type controls so for okay. now what i would like to do is i just would like to take the standard one here i think but the k004 mm. okay mm. and okay i select this one and i will go through the copy as here let me mm. Give M double zero four nothing but the material mm. and here let me give our own access sequence not the one which they have already mm. created here okay. our own access sequence is nothing but M double zero four okay so now let me save it mm. okay then what we have to do mm. we have to place them into the pricing procedure yeah okay. So mm. what is the transaction to go through the pricing procedure determination? Yes. Yeah, it's for the creation and for the determination mm. we use the transaction OBKK. Mm. Okay, and here the pricing procedure is this one. Yeah, first mm. of all we have to select this one, then we have to go inside mm. this one. See here okay. we can see that the base price condition type is there, MR00, which we have created in the mm. previous session. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and here this yeah. is what is the bifurcation step. Yeah. So now what I'm what I'm trying to do is I would like to add yeah. the new condition type here. That is what we have created for the discounts. Yeah. So now let me go through the new entries here, and for the step number thirty, I would like to give M double zero four as the discount. Yeah. Okay, and for the step number okay. eighty, I would like to give a bifurcation step nothing but discounts mm. okay. so let me save it now and if you go back here mm. see here you can able to see the from and mm. to right yeah. so actually we would like to give the discount on the base price this one mm. so this mm. is what is existed in the step number 20 so let me give it mm. a step number 20 here actually i will let you know about this one you don't worry mm. okay but now you please create the procedure pricing procedure like as i am creating here mm. okay in a separate session i will mm. go through all of this actually as we mm. have 18 steps here mm. i will let you know what are them and how can mm. we use them but for now you do you please do mm. as i am saying now oh, okay okay so already i have created mm. it right yeah created so now let me go through the creation of condition records. What is mm. the transaction we use? Week 11, right? Week 11, yeah. So now let me go through the transaction week 11. Mm. Here our condition type is M004. Mm. And actually we have only material is there in the key combination, right? Yeah. And for which we would like to give a discount of 50 rupees. And mm. here the unit is INR, Indian rupees. Mm. Mm. And let me save it now. Okay. In the same way, mm. let me give it for the another material vaccine 200 also. For here, mm. I just would like to give the discount as 20 rupees. Mm. So if you give the discount, then you can able to find the negative signature uh, sorry negative sign here nothing but the minus here mm. okay so now let me okay. save it and let me create one order for your reference mm. Mm. so here the sales organization is 100 distribution channel is m and division is m1 mm. here let me give the sold to party as well as the material mm. see if we go through the material here then here mm. in the conditions you can able to find the base price is 120 rupees the total base price is 120 and here the discount mm. is 50 rupees so 120 yeah. minus 50 is equal to 70 that is the net value 
Mm. Okay. And if we see, okay. If we see it for the another material, like then two hundred. Mm. Mm. For which we have given the discount as twenty rupees, right? So the final mm. price is eighty rupees. So okay. here we have seen the conditions in the item category, sorry, item level. Mm. So now if we go through the header here, and if we go through the conditions mm. here, you can able to see the the total price and the total discount. Okay. Okay. So in this class, mm. we have gone through the creation of the material discount, nothing but the M double zero four here. So in the mm. next class, I will let you know how can we create some more discount condition types. Okay. Sir. Okay. So hope you are clear with this mm. session. Okay. And if you have any queries in this regard, you can ask me now. Yeah. Okay then. Thank you. Bye. Oh, bye, bye, sir.